Oh, welcome and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing um, a set of nails. Um, and these are going to be like a pop-up set. You guys are going to see how I um, take them off in tomorrow's video. But today we are going to, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be doing my nails. So it's going to be a watch me work on myself. Um, I wish I could do acrylic, but I do not have monomer right now. So yeah. But the first thing, oh, and like, um, I hope you guys like my new intro. Like, I think it turned out really cute. So the first thing we do is push my Q-tip clothes back, um, and yeah, it's really important to push your Q-tip clothes back so the nails can stay longer, and also just to get your dead skin off. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my sanding band, um, and it's in this container. I um, put my sandy bands in here for now, but here's my sandy band. This is a new one, so don't come at me if it's like, cause I, yeah, but it's new. So I just put a new one on there, and now I'm gonna get my drill, and I am going to remove the other drill bit that I had in there, and I'm going to put that drill bit into the drill, and I'm gonna put it on a low speed it's gonna be kind of high so maybe like a quarter to medium so yeah and i'm just going to um file the natural my natural nail the natural shine off my nail and i'm also going to remove the excess glue because believe it or not i filmed this video like 50 times already and first t time i tried my freaking nail glue broke second time i tried the nail shape didn't come out right and now it's fine so yeah Okay, so now that I did that, now we are going to do another bit, and it, we're just going to clean my cuticles up, and this is the drill bit I'm using, I'm zooming in a little bit, this is what it looks like, it's like a little bit pointy, um, it's like a pointed, and this just really gets your cuticle, your dead skin off of your nails, and, yeah. I mean, it's really hard to explain, but all I do is I go from the cuticle on the side of my nail, and I just remove any excess dead skin, cuticle, dead skin, just to remove it off, because I honestly don't, I couldn't explain why I do it, but it's really important to do it, that's how I know, and also, um, I think it's, like, better to keep it off, I'm not really sure. I wanted to say that I know it also helps with the, um, for it to last longer, so yeah. But, um, now we're going to dust it off, but I did want to say that I'm doing everything I would do for acrylic, but just without the acrylic, so yeah, basically press on, but yeah. So now what I'm doing is I'm just removing the dust, and then I'm going to go in with 70% alcohol, 70% alcohol best one and i'm going to get a cotton pad not a cotton ball i use a cotton pad i don't know why and if you hear me tapping a lot it's because i have my nails on so i just keep doing that but i'll stop so now i'm just removing that and this is also you can also use this as a dehydrator too um but i don't have the de dehydrator i only have primer so now i'm going to go in with my primer i'm only going to go in with one coat because i find when i do two coats it's harder for the nails to stick on so that's why i just do a thin layer and this just helps it stay on better and you don't have to keep putting glue on or whatever so yeah but this is a practice set i'm just explaining to you guys what i'm doing but yeah i'm just going to apply them to all my fingers Okay, so I finished putting the primer on my nails. I just do this so they last longer uh, and the glue doesn't get stuck. But now I'm going to use these tips and I'll insert the picture that these are from. I put the numbers on there because I would get confused. So I just put the numbers on there, the number stickers. I think I got them off of Amazon, but I know they have them at the dollar store. But yeah, I'm just going to pick my sizes now.
So now that I have my sizes, I'm going to go in with this Kiss Prep um, Brush on Glue. Um, and um, I am going to grab the glue, obviously. And uh, I don't know why I froze right there. I think I was trying to grab my glue because it fell. But there's the Brush on Glue um, Kiss. It's not my favorite glue, but it's there when you need it. You know what I mean? It works, but it's not as strong as you would want it. I recommend KDS. That's the best nail glue in the world like you try to put a little dot and glue your nail on and the nail won't glue it's like it won't move it's like it's kind of like gorilla glue like but not gorilla glue shape for your nails so i'm going to press it and i'm going to move side to side So I'm not going to trim them down or fix the shape up. All I'm going to do is get my normal hand file and I'm just going to file along the shape just to crisp it up a little bit because there are these pointy parts that they have and I'm just going to file them and just crisp the shape up and make it so it doesn't hurt or scratch you or it's basically crisping the shape up. So that's what I'm doing. And also, um... I try, I also hold the nail with my other finger while I'm filing because I find when I do that, it, my nail ends up removing, so yeah. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm going to grab my hand e-file um, and I'm going to use the sanding band, the same one I used from earlier. By the way, I'm using a fine grit sanding band. Um, those just seem to work. That's the only ones I have right now, but I am getting 180 grid sandy bands soon. But, um, I'm gonna remove that, and I'm gonna go in with the sandy band, and I'm just going to, um, file the shine off the nail and off the fake nail and make sure it's flush to the natural nail. So it blends into my natural nail, and the shine is off. It smoothed it out, too. Now I'm getting my buffer and I'm going to um, smooth out the nail and make sure it's super smooth and there's no little like harsh pieces or particles or pieces like little like dents or anything like that. I just make it short. It's super smooth so the nail polish applies really smooth and no bumps or anything like that. Okay, so now that I did that, you are going to get your... Um, and like you guys said, it's fully flush to the nail and like it looks like a real nail. So I'm gonna go in with this color, these two colors. Now this color is a little pinker than it is on here. This looks more like orange. Like it's, it has a little bit of a pink tint. So it looks that color just a little pinker, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But um, that's the color and I'm also gonna go in with this color. Um, I actually used this on my other set. That's all my TikTok. But, um, yeah, these are super great nail polish. I got these at the dollar store, but I haven't seen these a uh, long time, in a long time. But we're going to, um, put the nail polish on every other finger, every finger but my ring finger. So, and we're going to use the, the more pink color, the shiny pink. Now I'm letting them dry. Um, I let them dry for a good amount of time, but these are fast drying, but I'm gonna let them dry and then I'm gonna put the other coat of nail polish on the other hand. 
And so here's the color that I'm using. Um, I do not, I can't tell you the colors because there's no color name on there or shade or whatever. Um, but I'm just going to apply um, that to the nail that I'm supposed to add, which is my ring finger, and which is the finger closest to the pinky. Just in case you guys didn't know what finger. But I'm painting it on. Um, I had to put like four coats i think of nail polish because this is very sheer the nail polish so yeah you just want it to be um flush to your natural nail so that's what i'm gonna do i'm letting this hand dry i have the my fan in front of here but i also wanted to say that um when i um, do my other hand that it's really hard for me to do because I'm right handed so it's really hard for me to do my non-dominant hand so what I do is I just hold my hand under like the hand on my fingers and I use the thing my one fingers to hold the nail polish and to paint it on so and I keep my hand really relaxed as I can but now I'm applying the other layer of nail polish to um, another coat. Now I'm letting this coat dry. Now I'm going in with another layer of this nail polish on the fingers that need to go on with the nail polish. Dry. Now that they are all dry, I'm going to go in with these gemstones. Um, I don't know what brand, but I know they're off of Amazon. Um, and I'm going to go in with the Kiss um, Brush on Glue. I do recommend Brush on Glue for your gemstones and stuff. Or um, uh, Gem Gel. But I don't have any. I have glue. So I'm just putting a nice layer of that on the nail. Like, I try to do it thin, but not too thick. And I had this a little sped up, sped up because I was going really slow here. Because I was trying to do it really um, perfect. Um, but still kind of messed up. But you can't really tell because it looks like you want it like that. So I basically did, like, I was going in a straight direction. And then I went on the side. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing a side section of nail um, gems. Going on to my pointer finger and I'm applying some um, nail glue on there on around my cuticles and I'm going to just do gems al aligning my cuticles. Uh, I put gems on the areas that I messed up like bumpy but also I just put gems if they're not messy either. I just like the color of gems and or like the idea of gems and stuff but yeah. Now for my middle finger, I'm just going to put one gemstone in the center of the nail, um, like at the, where the cuticle, but in the center. I don't know, I just wanted bling on all my nails, but I didn't want them too blinged out, but I wanted them blinged out. So. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, but that's what I'm doing in this clip. For my ring finger, which is the pink color, I'm going to go in with this um, hot pink, kind of dark pink, hot pink glitter. And I'm going to cover my nails halfway. Um, I didn't, like, really do that, but I'm just covering it halfway at first. And because I was trying to do, like, a split glitter, but that didn't work out right because my nail's too long to stick in the glitter. Um, so, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick um, the glitter in there. It didn't work. Like I said, my nail was too long. But I'm just... Now I'm dumping it all over the nail. 
and I'm dusting it off now. I let it sit there for like three to four seconds, and then I dust it off with my nail duster, and just to remove any excess glitter. And that's how it looked. I looked how it came out. So yeah, I probably put in a little bit more glue to um, cover like the spots I didn't like. So that's what I did. I just put some more glue, and I pour a little bit more glitter. But actually, what I did was, um, there's some glitter like right on the paper towel, so I just dipped my finger on there, so I didn't waste any glitter. Um, I did. I pour the glitter first, and then I did. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I did the same rhinestone thing for the my other thing, my other nail, um, my pinky. I just put one gemstone on there. But I'm still doing this finger, so for and then for my finger, like the one I put glitter on, um, I put gemstones. I put gemstones in a flower shape like that, as you guys can see. I just put so it's five and then one in the middle. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing I did for the other nails on this hand on the other hand. So yeah. So here's what they look like. They're not done, but that's basically what I'm doing. So now I'm going to get my gel top coat um, and I'm going to just apply it on to the, my nails. Um, and I'm going to put it under my LED lamp. I really like this um, gel top coat. It's not my favorite because it does burn your nails. If you, I don't even know if I'm doing it wrong, but it's really thick. So sometimes it like slides down to my like actual skin of my nail like the bottom of my nails but um yeah so it burns but i like it because it gives like a little like thick glossy glass effect to it but it does peel off sometimes but i'm just putting it under my nail lamp and my thing goes up to 160 seconds but it beeps at the 30 second mark and then it goes down for another 30 seconds. But this seems to cure for 30 seconds. So, yeah. Okay, so here is what I do. So the first thing, and I'm going to next, the last thing I do is I get my cuticle oil. Go watch my TikTok. I showed you guys how I did my cuticle oil. I just put in a different bottle and poured my other cuticle oil in. And I put a little bit of ol um, olive oil, uh, coconut oil. But um, the dropper is kind of messed up, so I don't even have to sque squeeze it and it just comes out. But it's okay, it works. So I just apply it. It's really oily. But I like it. Um, it didn't really smell that good. So what I did was add coconut oil like I said. Um, but I'm just applying it to all my nails. And rubbing it in really, really, really good. Um, I like it because it's this, it's really good. I just didn't like the smell. So yeah, that's all I did there. And that's the finished result. They're really cute. Um, these are here on my spring nails. Um, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Just on